Tracy here, back with another reaction video. We are going to do Days Gone, E3 2016 announced trailer for PS4. So this is a PS4 exclusive. One of you guys sent this to me, said it was right up my alley and what I like in gaming. Basically, I like roleplay games with stories. I like stories that you can change. Usually they end up being single player whenever they're really hardcore stories and you get to like get immersed into the story and change every little detail. Those are my favorite kinds of games. I don't know if that's what this will be, but I'm excited to see it. This is the trailer from E3 2016. I actually missed E3 2017, so I haven't seen any of the trailers from that. Yes, I know. I'm a fucking awful human being. I'm a terrible gamer and I suck at life. E3, then E3 this year happened during my break where I was off and being an idiot and just like going through some shit. So I didn't actually see any of those trailers and I really wanted to watch E3, but I missed it. So I would love it if you guys would send me your guys' favorite trailers from the new, from, from E3 2017 to check out and react to and just shoot them my way and I will definitely react to those. And of course, any other things you guys want me to react to, just send them to me. It's easier if you send them in the comments section to just put the title of the, the video and then who it's from and I will look it up. Because if you post links in my comment section, it usually goes into the spam folder. And I don't tend to touch the spam folder that often because a lot of hate also goes into the spam folder and shit. And I just don't touch it. But yeah, let's check this shit out. Here we go. Good. If a game doesn't say that before it, that it contains content in the unsuitable for children, then it's probably crap. PlayStation exclusives are my favorite games. They're the best games Someone ever. Someone asked me once if I remembered how it all went down. As if it this happened is fucking so long ago beautiful. Look forget. at the graphics. Damn. So yeah, I remember. This intro makes me feel like Final Fantasy. I remember when our homes Ten. and our towns turned into graveyards. When the wilderness became our only hope for survival. Damn, this is pretty. I remember when the planes fell out of the skies. When the trains stopped running. I love post-apocalypse. the turbines shut down. As well. And the world Especially went Especially when it has stories. I remember when they put up the razor wire. That's why I'm like so excited for The Last of Us 2. When the feds ran out of body bags. Damn. When some of us sort of lost our minds. I think it's dead. Some lost more than kind of sexy in a rugged way. Yeah, I, I bet. remember when we lived by a code. Oh, the family. Brotherhood meant something, and living I meant think more for white than trash truckers. Yeah, he's very sexy, so, yeah, actually. I remember how it all went down. No, I don't give a damn about any of that. You know what I remember most? Oh no. Sounds sad. Riding the open road. Oh no! The smell of your hair. The touch of your skin. I'm guessing she either died or he you. lost her and he needs to find her. But those days are gone. Days gone is no, the drifter. name of it. A bounty oh. hunter. Drifter. A mercenary. She must have died. And for me, the broken road is all that's left. Oh, this is so sad. I'll always remember. Days gone. Damn, that looked good. I mean, it was cinematic, so we didn't really get to see gameplay, but that looked fucking awesome. PlayStation. That was weird. I find that for for story games, PlayStation makes the best story games. I think that's why I'm, I don't really jive with Xbox, because a lot of Xbox games tend to be first-person shooters. The exclusives are all pretty much first-person shooters. I know Fable's an exception. I am aware. That's the one reason I almost bought an Xbox, but for the most part, all of the exclusive story games tend to be on PlayStation, and I have a PlayStation 4 now. I will be playing Shadow of War when it comes out on PlayStation 4. Unless I have a better PC by then, I might do it on PC. It just depends. And I will be doing... I'll probably check that one out and do it, because I love PlayStation exclusives. They've never let me down. Every single one of them's always been great. I know that for the, for the story-wise, it might have a set character. I kind of hope for character customization, but it definitely seems like that's going to be a set character. I just, 
I hope that you can at least customize him as a set character. Like, change his hair up, change his face up a little bit, like, grow out his beard or shave it off or do a little bit of character customization if not customize the character altogether because this day and age without character customization it's a little weird for a game to not have that these days and even like like the witcher the witcher 3 and stuff it has character customization for Geralt but it's not you still have the set character I would like to see that I'm not sure if that's how it'll be set up I'm sure that you'll be able to change armor and outfits and stuff because that's just a that's just a given with any game. That looked good from the cinematic. I can't tell how the game itself plays, so I'll have to check out some gameplay trailers if they have them out. I don't know if there's any out yet. But yeah, I'm excited for that game from what that looked like. I'll check in more into it. Thank you for saying that to me. And thank you guys so fucking much for watching. I love you guys. You are the best subscribers ever. Mwah. Like, comment, subscribe, share, etc, etc. Peace out.